hi guys welcome back to my channel um, I'm going to do a catch up with you guys about what's been going on or what hasn't been going on um, and I hope you like it don't forget to like subscribe follow me on social media and um, thank you again for the support you guys So currently, I'm a bingo wings. And he's got bingo wings, bingo wings, bingo wings. Um, I'm 36 weeks and one day. So I didn't announce it on my Instagram due to superstition, Nazar, and it's not like how like a wedding blog is, or a fashion diaries, or a lifestyle blog is. It's a wee bit more personal and I just wanted to keep it something once in my life to myself. And and it actually has been quite amazing, the process. Um, I learned so much about myself. The fact that I wasn't sharing it on social media, I was actually speaking to my other half about it or like kicks or like the first movement and stuff like that usually I would go on snap and or I would go on twitter or instagram and be like oh my god look at my belly and look at how much I've grown but it's just been nice to being able to share that with like my close friends and family and like my actual people in my circle and not the whole wide world um, <clears throat> so I've actually enjoyed this process um, I am coming closer and closer to the date. Um, I'm getting induced on the 30th of March. I've only told the Malik and me as this. Um, I don't want pressure. I don't want messages to say, is it is the baby here yet? Or like, how you doing? How you feeling? I just want to kind of deal with it and go on with it, basically. Um, I've got gestational diabetes. <laughs> um, basically, that's... Um, you can develop gestational diabetes during pregnancy. They do a glucose test and you basically do a kind of um, fast for a few hours and they basically test your blood sugars after a few hours and how it goes and stuff. Um, if you've got diabetes, if you've got diabetes in your family, um, I've, got it, I've got type 2 diabetes with my dad's my dad and my mother-in-law has diabetes too um, so that does have an effect on you and if your lifestyle isn't great with lots of sugar and lots of potatoes um, which I have a lot of um, does cause a lot of future diabetes so after the baby is born um, it does tend to go away most of the time if it doesn't um, I just need to change my lifestyle um, they do say that it could go away after the baby's born, but um, I just need to go back to the gym. I just need to be a better lifestyle, um, change my diet, and not have as many desserts. But I'm going to see how it goes with that. Um, I've been really lucky in that sense of I've not had any morning sickness. Um, alhamdulillah, I've just I've had a quite a smooth pregnancy. It's more I've had a lot of back pains, but that's because I've not had the energy to do exercise. When I say exercise, it's not like going ham at the gym. It's um, just doing like walking or any sort of exercise. I think the first three months you are tend to be tired, you are tend to be um, exhausted. Um, but for me, at that stage, I didn't know I had diabetes, so anytime I would eat, I would be exhausted um, or I had a long day but that's because basically if you have too much sugar you have more water in your belly and basically any sort of like any sort of saturated sugar or sugar goes straight to the baby so the baby's bigger than usual the reason I'm getting induced is because the baby's um, not bigger but it's like on the line of maximum of what my height and my kind of um, weight is so this is why I'm getting induced early and um, my due date is supposed to be the 6th of April 
Um, but now it's going to be the 30th or 31st or 30 or the 1st of April. Um, so um, April's juke, jokes are on my baby. But anyway, so basically the, the way um, Induced works is they give you a tablet, internal tablet. Um, and basically it's it kind of starts your contractions um, it should start within 24, 24 hours if it doesn't then they go through the next process is actually breaking your water and then basically wanting you to have I've got heartburn as well by the way um, um, and then basically not forcing but basically then after 24 hours they'll break your waters and then you'll go through the labour process. So this is why I don't know when it's gonna happen. It depends on your body. But yeah, um, what else? So anyway, the first three months, um, I was lucky I didn't have any sickness. I was just tired all the time. I was exhausted. Um, and obviously we found out by the th fourth month that I had gestational diabetes, which made a lot of sense of why I was feeling quite um, tired all the time. Um, and then my second trimester, that was my first trimester, second trimester, um, that's when the diet started happening. So basically all, the, all I was craving was um, a Bengali, um, alubazi and um, alusakni. And you're not allowed to have alubazi and rice. You can have potato, um, I'll say Alo baji, potato baji, and um, you can have potato, like baked potato and um, whatnot. You can have rice and chicken, but you can't have um, two two types of saturated sugars. Basically, with potato and rice, they come into your body and they turn into glucose, and then that glucose goes to your baby. So that's not what we wanted. Um, that's not what you want to happen. So I had to change my diet second trimester, which was really difficult because certain foods that I was craving I wasn't allowed. Um, I had to take a prick test for um, four times a day, so that was quite exhausting. Um, so yeah, my anxiety started playing out because I had so much to do and like all this gestational diabetes and diet and everybody telling me I need to do exercise, everybody telling me I look bigger than what a what a normal six month um six month pregnancy woman looks like and this and that so I did start stressing out a lot that I shouldn't have um but I'm okay now um I'm on maternity leave I went on last Friday but it was um it was snowing everywhere in the UK um if you remember and I was working from home because the roads weren't safe enough for me to drive so that was my last day and then I went through yesterday just as a thank you so I gave them desserts and like um, samosas I put up a picture somewhere um, a bit of Scottish Asian there for you with iron brew and Scottish tonics and stuff um, so yeah so I went and said bye yesterday they gave me, they gave me gifts um, so it was quite nice to say bye but it's quite crazy so first week of my maternity what did I do yeah my heartburn started on the last trimester um I th I've never had heartburn before so I don't know what it's supposed to feel like before I got it it's like acid and like oh when you burp it's, it's not pleasant so I was on I think it's apple vinegar or something my family would tell me to take um, and then I've been on Rennie's and Gavistagon and stuff like that, anything to help. But it really plays up at evenings more than during the day or maybe during the day I just don't pay attention. Um, so yeah, what else has been happening? Yeah, I was supposed to have my baby shower this month but my sister is doing her house up so everybody would have came and stayed at her house so nobody would have had somewhere to stay. Um, and because my, because I knew I had diabetes and it's quite common to uh, get induced and your date goes earlier because of how big the baby is. Um, so what what we 
what my sister decided to do is I had a weekend trip in Edinburgh in January just around the weekend and she decided to throw me a surprise well they all my sisters um, throw me a surprise baby shower um, but yeah I've not like I say I've not announced it on social media um, deliberately because I don't want to um, yeah so it's been quite good it's, it was quite stressful during my sister-in-law's wedding time even though nobody told me that they need me to do this they need me to do that but I really, it's my only sister-in-law I wanted to do that was super baby blog um, I think I was like 20 weeks then I think I was I think there was a few people that said oh my god are you pregnant there's a lot of people that have snapchatted me and Instagram messaged me or wrote comments on my photos to say Says that you're pregnant and this and that and I've kind of either ignored you or I've just done an X or something because it, I'm I'm such a public person. Anything I want everyone to know it's it's on my Snapchat <laughs> um, and obviously there's something I didn't want to share so if I did want you to know I would have put it out there but it was quite frustrating I had all these messages but obviously you care about me that's why you did it but a lot of baby brain I forget what I'm saying um, I, I, there was one time at work I actually forgot my laptop I had to come all the way home while I was like two minutes away from work to get my laptop <sighs> to get my laptop yeah my sister was ready and that so nobody was telling me what to do and whatnot but I really wanted it come on I'm a wedding blogger so there was so much I wanted to do so I kind of did but I did exhaust myself um, but I was quite lucky in that sense in the evenings or when if there was events when I came upstairs nobody was like where is she or can she come downstairs can she do this so I was really lucky in that sense when my in-laws not expecting me to do anything but obviously there's certain things that I wanted to do and I, was, I just did um, even though everyone was like don't like chill out don't do anything you don't need to do anything stuff like that but anyway so I did my makeup on snapchat and I've not like I say I've just been AWOL on snapchat even to the point that um, I actually put it on private um, during the wedding I think or during there's been like so many weeks that I did it on private I even turned off my notifications to get messages like um, messages to sent to me and stuff and um, I just wanted some time out and I just it was just getting frustrating when I was getting all these messages and like where are you or where did you buy this from during my sister-in-law's wedding and stuff so I just wanted some time out but anyway so busy so anyway so my first week of maternity um, we went to mama's and papa's and we got our push chair it's so cute I need to sh you guys need to see it's like so cute so if even if it's a boy it's it's denim with like um with um, brown leather it's really cute and like vintage um, so I have so if it's a boy then we're sorted and then I can just have like a um, grey shawl or cardigan or something like that blanket to put over him and if it's a girl I love I love denim that blue denim with dusty pink I think it goes really well together so either way it works out fine um, I'm happy with it um, so Monday we did that and then today we went to mother care and we got last minute things I put all the babies new baby newborn stuff in a washing um, and like I put I was gonna put you see from Emma's diaries and like bounty you get all these freebies um, I was gonna use that because it's sent for sensitive skin for newborns um, but then somebody told me why don't you just do it with them um, for her child she did um like just a hot wash and that was it so i was just like guess what i'm gonna i'm gonna do that um i'm gonna do that and i did that and then now i've got the moses basket bedding stuff that i'm gonna put in the wash i'm not gonna always do a, a washing before i put on the baby but i think for a newborn they're gonna have super sensitive skin so i think it's important to be extra extra careful and my husband has sensitive skin um, he has super sensitive skin so I know for a fact this baby will have sensitive skin um, so I'm just going to be super careful 
first few weeks to figure out the baby's routine and the baby and then I will I will start putting stuff that's in packets shoot on the baby I think that's fine after but anyway I'm gonna play right here and see what happens but yeah this year so it's quite exciting that I'll have loads of mummy friends to have baby dates together my friends from Edinburgh have been great they've been like mess at Amna and Ash Especially Amnet, she's been messaging me like nearly every day, giving me tips, giving me advice. Are you okay? What have you done? Are you how are you feeling? How's the bump? So it's really really nice to have like people in my life that are really really active. And I think obviously she's got two beautiful boys, so she knows how what this feels like. And obviously living with in laws and stuff like that. So it's really nice to have her in my life. And um, where do I start? So anyway. So we went to Matterland and we got um, the Moses starter back set for £15 and that wasn't an offer. So if I was going to spend £15 anyway, then I was just like, rather than stress myself and do a blog on mother care, um, we decided to buy it. So this has two, two super soft fitted sheets, so two fitted sheets, it's got one fleece blanket okay the softer blanket and one of the super soft cellular blanket i don't know one super soft whatever so that's got that so that's really good that's a bargain and the cheapest cheapest we came across of our mattress our baby mat is this eight pound one that has elephants in it i love elephants um, so that was good that's from that's from um Matterland and i got loads i already got really big muzzle cloths um but i feel like i need to get smaller ones so these had little elephants as well i think and they like grey and white my themes are very grey and white at the moment so if it's a girl then you just put some a dash of dusty pink and if it's a boy you can keep it grey oh these are big as well so anyway so these are good for back pink or if they've been sick or if you're wearing like like jewellery or if you have guests that are wearing saris or something or just stuff like that so I'm going to put these in the wash because what did I buy? So this was, I think this was £6. Yeah this was £6 right and what you do is the first few weeks you're supposed to clean the baby's bottom with water and cotton wool cotton wool um, and obviously you need somewhere to put the cotton wool and the water and stuff so I thought this was really handy I really liked it because I saw it on um, some YouTube video um, and the lady was cleaning how to clean how to change the nappy I know how to change the nappy I, I'm an auntie I've been anti mashala five times now, so um, I know how to t change a nappy, but I think the first, because like I say, I don't know if it'll have his dad's sensitive skin, so um, I'm going to clean it with water and cotton pads until I figure it out. My mother-in-law said she never used wipes in her life, so I think this is for her as well, but obviously I've used wipes for changing baby nappies and my children. My niece and nephews turned out okay. Um, this is heating up milk. It's not for the baby, for for my mother-in-law. This was um this is reduced to twelve pounds. This is ours. They're only like two or three pounds. Um and then the thermometer check, um the yeah the oral thermometer is about £12 so I was just like well might as well just get this and it's got a nasal thing they've got toothbrush they've got scissors and um, nail clips comb brush emery board and a carrying case so that's really good so if I do go to north for a visit um, at least that way um, I can um, if I go up north then I can just take this with me. Let's have a look. When we open. Really cool. It looks very hygienic. I love it. 
that's for the baby. So let's put that in here. Let's put this over here. So my mother in law got this for this fleece blanket for $9.50. Um, it's just a nice wee blanket which um, you can have in the va Moses basket or you can keep it away or have it around the baby. So we blanket there, washing. And this is Moses basket liner. In the set it doesn't actually come with a, um, a liner in regards to like this kind of liner. So this is where the handles would go. I'll show you what I do after I put it on maybe. Um, socks which I'm not going to wash. I'm just going to put away right now. Then we've got another fleece. I don't know why she got two fleeces but she did. Bless her. It's my mother, it's my in-laws first grandchild. So everybody's super duper excited and alhamdulillah everybody's like over the moon. Then we've got tiny baby. Um, um, baby suit for eight pounds. Um, I only bought I bought three before, and when you don't realise what you have or haven't bought, so I need to basically put these in the wash, and they're quite nice. So the ones I have are from Asda, and you get three for seven pounds, and in Mother Care it's three for eight pounds. So. It's just a pound difference, but I will tell you the quality difference. Um, maybe after so that's that. And then this is tiny baby sleep suit. Even though we don't know if it's a girl or a boy, my mother not really like this. So I'm going to put this in the drawer. Actually. And not to bring it out till later. New baby. And this one was on offer. Why are you not opening? in the wash, there's no point putting Right, this was a bargain. Yet 96 nappies for £10. How good is that? So I've got that. Uh, remember how I was saying, um, um, how I was saying my mother in law didn't use. Oh. And I went, oh my god. I remember how I was saying my mother-in-law doesn't use water for her nappies. She does use water for nappies, so we got this new thing that didn't, wasn't invented back in the days for my niece and nephew. 99.9% .9 water. I drop off foot extracts. So yes, yeah, so, so that's what we bought today. Well, this is a long overdue explanation of what's going on. 